Hi everyone, I'm KRE. In this video, I'd like to take a look at building a simple bypass switch in Patcher. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how you can turn that bypass switch into a simple mix knob to adjust your levels between wet and dry. So I've just put together a really quick drum and bass track. It sounds kind of like this. And on the drum bus, I put together a, a very simple Patcher preset. Uh, just with some vintage chorus and magic dice. And when that's on, it sounds like this. So we're gonna build a on-off switch for this that lets us um, completely bypass these plugins with the click of a button. You might be asking yourself why you'd want to have an on-off switch or a bypass switch when you've got one built into your mixer right here. Uh, and the reason for that is as your plugin design, as your patcher design gets more and more complicated, you're going to want the ability to switch on and off individual plugins or individual sounds so you can very quickly A, B two different sounds and compare them. A good example of that is here on a typical mastering chain for me, which looks quite uh, complicated, but it's, it's really not. It's just a few plugins in series, and each one has the ability here in the surface to turn it on for on really quick so I can dial in each plugin sound one at a time. <laughs> So let's head back to our drum bus, to our patcher here. So you can see we've got audio that comes out of FL Studio, it runs through our plugins, and it goes back to FL Studio. And what we need is actually two audio chains coming out of FL Studio, one that's a completely unprocessed sound and one that has these plugins, and we need to be able to switch between the two. So to do that, I'm just gonna disconnect the audio here for now, and I'm gonna add in a very useful, very simple plugin called Fruity Balance. So here's Fruity Balance. Fruity Balance uh, very simply just lets you adjust the, the pan, but more importantly for our case here, it lets you quickly adjust the volume. You'll notice that Fruity Balance can let you decrease the volume as well as increase the volume by up to 5.6 dB. But the neutral position is actually, if you right click and look at copy value, it's at 80%. 80% is no change in gain for our volume. Um, by the way, at any point, if you want to open plugins quickly in Patcher and open multiple plugins, you could just alt-click on them, so you can open as many of these plugins as you like. At any point, you can also right-click on a plugin, find the save preset as, and hold and drag that to quickly drop in a second. So I want two fruity balances, one of which is going to be my bypass signal, one of which is going to be my wet signal, my processed signal. So now I've got these connected here. I'm gonna alt click on them to open them up. I want the wet signal to be at 80% here. So it's sending full volume straight through the chorus and magic dice. And I want my bypass volume to be down to zero. And now we're gonna set up a button that's gonna control the volume knob here. I'm gonna right click on each of these, choose input, parameters, volume. You'll notice that creates a new little red node. And what this does is it lets us control the volume using the input of a button. I'm gonna go over here to my surface. I'm gonna create a new button. We'll call this bypass. This is our bypass button. When you click this button on or off, it's gonna send a signal of either zero or 100%. When it's on, it's 100%. When it's off, it's 0%. We need to turn that zero or 100% into, for the wet, we need it to be from 80% to 0%. And for the dry, or for the bypass, we need it to go from 0% to 80%. So that way when we click the button, these knobs change. You'll see if I just connect the button to each of these volume, I go back to here to the bypass, watch the volume knobs as I click the button. You'll notice that they're both moving at the same time and they're both jumping to, to 5.6 dB extra gain every time I click that button. So obviously we can't just link up the button to the control we need to manipulate the number a little bit first. What we're gonna to use to do that, I'm just gonna unconnect those. What we're gonna to use to do that is a wonderful plugin called Fruity XYZ Controller, XYZ Controller if you're American. And what this lets us do, if I open up the plugin and right here where it says coordinates, I'm gonna change that to output mapping. It lets us take an input number and change that and send out the changed output number. So as I said before, I need to take this zero to 100 of my bypass button, and I need to modify that number using this so that it'll be zero to 80 for these. I'm gonna start here in the X section. You can see that there's X, Y, and Z, and I'm gonna right click on this button. I'm gonna type in value and choose 0 0.8, in other words, 80%. I'm gonna set this side here, 
all the way down to zero. Now I'm going to go into y. I'm going to do the opposite of that. The starter one stays at zero. This one I'm going to right click, type in value 0 0.8. What I've got now here, if you take a look at the way this graph works, the input number will go along the bottom. The output number will be the up and down. So when my button inputs zero, when my button is off, then if I look on my XYZ controller, the output number will be 80, 0.8. When my bypass is on, it's sending 100% to the XYZ controller, which means that my output number will be over here, it'll be zero. One other thing that we should do here in XYZ controller before we close it up is, do you see this parameter here called global speed? This is actually kind of confusingly named. It's more like smoothing. Whenever you make a change to the input numbers, the speed or the smoothing will slow down how quickly the output numbers change in response to that. We actually want zero smoothing on this at all. So it seems counterintuitive to turn down the speed, but we're actually turning down the smoothing so the speed is instant. As soon as we click that button, we want the XYZ controller to make the change. Now that you've got that, if you've got your output mapping, you've got your global speed all the way down, you've got your X and Y set from 80 to zero and zero to 80, we can close XYZ controller, can head back here to map, and now we just have a couple quick things that we got to set up here in the XYZ controller for inputs and outputs. We want to be able to take an input number in X and output it as in X. So I'm going to go turn on the input X and the output X. That means when I send this bypass zero or 100% to the X section here, here's X, it's either going to output 80 or zero. So now I can send this output to the wet signal. I'm also going to do the same thing for the Y input and Y output, and that's going to control our dry signal. So I'm going to connect my button to the Y here, and then the output Y will control the bypass. Now, if I head back to surface here and hit this button, watch the fruity balances down below. You can see that when the button is off, the wet signal is full, it sends it through. And as soon as we hit bypass, the wet signal is off and now the dry signal is full. And we can test this out uh, by playing our song. So here's the effect sound, and there's the bypass sound. I can show you real quick uh, the difference that the global speed parameter makes. I'm gonna turn up that global speed, which actually slows things down. Watch the knobs down below as I click. You can see that they move smoothly to the desired value. So this can be useful, but it's not super handy when you've got a button. You want to change that sound right away. Keep that global speed down. I'm going to show you real quick how you can take this exact same concept and turn it into a mix knob instead of just a simple on-off switch. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to delete the button, and I'm going to add a new knob. We'll call this uh, dry, mix, wet. So this way, ideally, when the knob is turned all the way down, it's the totally dry signal. This will be 50-50. When it's turned all the way up, this will be the wet signal. So I'm going to go back to my map. You can see I've got this, uh, this connector here for my knob now instead of for the button. I'm going to connect that up again to the XYZ controller. And let's see what happens when I turn the knob. So it's working, but you'll notice a little problem. You'll notice that when I've got the knob turned all the way dry, I actually have my wet signal is turned up. And when the knob's turned all the way wet, I got my bypass signal turned up. So we just have to swap that around. I'm gonna go back into my map. I'm gonna disconnect the XYZ controller from the free balances. And instead I'm gonna connect the X output to the bypass, the Y output now to the wet. And there we go, now it's fixed. It's working properly. Fully dry, fully wet. One other little problem that you might notice is when it's perfectly in the middle, the sound is kind of quiet. We can fix that really quickly by modifying the XYZ controller. I'm just gonna adjust the tension on this particular, on, these, on both of these particular um, curves so that when the knob is directly in the middle, it's a bit of a louder combo of the X and the Y. And there you go. I hope this was useful to you. This is my first video, uh, first tutorial in like eight or nine years. So if you found this useful, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any ideas for future videos or any suggestions for me. Thanks for watching.